A prominent anti-vaccination group has been given 28 days to explain why it should be allowed to continue raising funds as a charity. The Australian Vaccination Network is being investigated by the New South Wales Office of Liquor, Gaming and Racing for potential breaches of charity fundraising laws. John Stewart reports. The Australian Vaccination Network is run by Meryl Dury from a home office on the north coast of New South Wales. The AVN provides anti-vaccination information through their website, their magazine and seminars. Last month, the Healthcare Complaints Commission accused the AVN of providing inaccurate and misleading information about vaccines to parents. But the criticism was dismissed by the group. This was not an independent investigation. This was an investigation by an organisation that set out to support government policy, which is pro-vaccination. Now the AVN is under fire again, this time from the New South Wales Office of Liquor, Gaming and Racing, which wants the anti-vaccination group to show why it should be able to continue raising funds as a charity. The man who started the complaint against the AVN, Ken McLeod, was interviewed by Lateline earlier this year. We thought that it was a travesty that the AVN should hold a charity licence. They are not performing charitable activities, quite the opposite. In his complaint, Ken McLeod accused the anti-vaccination group of misusing funds. He claimed that the AVN had been raising funds to place anti-vaccination pamphlets in bounty bags which are given to mothers of newborns. But he said the company which made the bounty bags had nothing to do with the AVN. It's very clear that, for example, money raised for um, the bounty bags could never be spent on the bounty bags. The bounty bags company didn't want to have a bar of the AVN. But the money was raised... Where did it go? Well, it was obviously spent on running the AVN. Today, the New South Wales Office of Liquor, Gaming and Racing said their audit of the AVN had detected a number of breaches of charity fundraising laws, including fundraising without an authority, unauthorised expenditure and failure to keep proper records of income and expenditure. Meryl Dury could not be contacted tonight, but last month she made the following statement. The Office of Liquor, Gaming and Racing has been investigating the AVN's fundraising. We will wait until they've made their final judgment before we make any comment on this. The Office of Liquor, Gaming and Racing said it had also identified possible breaches of the Charitable Trust Act, which will be referred to the Department of Justice and the Attorney General. The AVN has been given 28 days to respond to the investigation. John Stewart, Late Line.